Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of SimRail. Now SimRail is something that we've not visited in a little while, but there's been so many updates since we last played this. This is the game that keeps on giving. We've got a brand new train to look at today, the EM57. I think it's been released in the last week. Free update. You know, we didn't have to pay for this. It's a whole new train, whole new model, whole new sounds, physics. Didn't pay a penny. Uh, it's part of the game, which is absolutely amazing uh, compared to some of the other train sims on the market that would absolutely have uh, their hand in our bank account. Whereas this, it's a free update, people. Can't argue with that. What is it? It's the EM57. We're going to be playing the tutorial today, uh, which comes with it, because it does recommend that you have uh, a go at that. Now, obviously, we've got the multiplayer. I haven't been able to drive this on multiplayer yet. I think because there's so many people all driving it, there's none available. But there we go. The Samu Shek. EN57. It's an electric multiple unit. It's the sort of thing you'd expect to see on uh, on Transport Fever, isn't it? 30 minutes is the scenario, so let's have a go and uh, and see how we get on. Now, again, I make absolutely no apologies for the pronunciation of places and things uh, because I am not Polish, I have not been to Poland, uh, and uh, that is my excuse. That's what I'm sticking with uh, for my horrendous pronunciation. So here we go. Uh, Today you will oh, there we go. Passenger train 4665 on the section Zawiercie, Dąbrowa Górnicza Zamkowice. You will Imanol. use the EN57 to operate it. This tutorial will show you how to start and drive the vehicle. It is time to enter the vehicle. Use the key or press the train door, but remember to close them afterwards. Right, yeah, so we need to get on the train. Right, we'll, uh, we'll go through this door. It's a nice little look at that. Oh, this is... Right, how do we get through here? Yep. Right, enter through the door. Switch wow, the this is retro. Cabinet. Right, hang on. Battery in an electrical cabinet. Right, that's down there. So, uh, yeah, look at this. Retro seating all the way through. Absolutely brilliant. You can do things like look in the toilet. Well, hey, look at that. And, uh, and shut the door again. Yeah, lovely. It really is. This game is so fantastic. Even if you're not a massive fan of European railways, I know nothing about Polish railways. Can we pull that? No. Worth a try. Right, so enable the battery. Oh, we can't look in there. Unlock the ground relay in the electrical cabinet. Right, we'll unlock the ground relay. To enter the cabin. Use the key or we'll press run the through. Button. We'll run through. Right, so you can just press one, but we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do we'll do it properly. Wow! Oh, activate this is just retro as anything. I love it. Right, activate the cabin. Hang on. So if we sit down, we'll. Uh, the cabin. I'm working on it. Turn on the oh. Radio by using the switch on the control panel. There we go. Acknowledge village and system. Turn on the radio by using the switch on the control panel. Rise the pantograph. Rise the pantograph. Wait for the voltage to appear. See what I like about these tutorials? There's no, there's no nonsense. It's do this, do that, do the other. Enable the Love circuit it. breaker. Enable converter. Wait for charging current to stabilize. Enable compressor. Wait for charging current to stabilize. Release handbrake using a handle on the left hand side of the cabin. Move the brake handle to the pneumatic drive Love position. It. Set the lighting for shouting maneuvers using the switches. Go to the second cabin. Right, yeah, up we get. I'm sure he said shouting maneuvers, but do you know what? I can't really uh, ridicule his English pronunciation given that he would probably be uh, snorting with laughter at my Polish pronunciation. So, uh, oh, there's something going on in here, isn't there? Right, hissing noise. Right down to the other end here. End of the cabin. Set what the do... lighting for shouting maneuvers using the switches. Go to the second cabin. Right, back through again. So we put the, uh, the headlamp on at the back. Can we open and close these doors? No. Oh, that's a shame. Obviously, normally we would just be walking up and down here, but for the purpose of the tutorial... Use the call button on the radio to call the dispatcher. Use the call button on the radio to call the dispatcher. Hell, that's radio loud. 4665, radio check. This is Zawiercie. I read you loud and clear. Lovely. Zawiercie, 4665 is ready. Thank you. Wait for signal. Release the electro pneumatic brake by moving and holding the lever as far forward as possible. Note, after releasing, the valve automatically returns to the emergency brake position. 
to drive. Move drive hands on the first. Oh, off we go. It is enough for a slow drive at the shunting speed. Right, so just to the just to the one position. I mean, 25 kilometers an hour. Let's uh, let's get it up to 25 kilometers an hour. I mean, this is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love this. It just. Acknowledge diligence system. I love how it says diligence, not vigilance. It's awesome. Vigilance system. Yeah, if you're not sure what you want to get, you know, between Train Sim World and Sim Rail. Simrail is just, it's hands down just so much better. I'm really hoping that Simrail are going to branch out into like German trains, Austrian trains, Czech Republic trains, because they really are a, a rival. Oh, hang on, right, stop. Lovely, look Open at that. Doors using the switch. Open the left doors. Set the lighting for a train operation using the switches. Set the lighting for a train operation using the switches. Go to the second cabin. There we go, have we? Uh, oh, we've got all our lights on. Look at that. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm having a picture of that. Right, back to the, the second cabin. Let's stand up. Are we, uh, right, we'll, we'll run through the, the centre of the train. Heck. Oh, you don't look well, love. Get yourself off home if I were you. Oof. Don't you be being sick on my train. Oh, there's announcements going on. Right through the cabin. For a train operation using the switches. Set the lighting for a train operation using the switches. Set the lighting for a train operation. I like how he just says the same thing again and again. Right, other cabin. God, you clock up some mileage. May as well have a ticket machine with me. I'm to do some tickets while I'm here. Oh, no, it's not Bus Simulator 20... Can I help you, gentlemen? No. You don't look well either. Go. what is it with everybody in this area that looks poorly? Have I not got the heating on? Is that why you sat there looking like you're cold? There we go. Right, are we ready to go? Oh no, 45 seconds in the corner there. I, I really do love this game, honestly. I'm hoping that eventually you'll be able to, you know, it might just calm down a little bit. And you'll be able to drive these trains on the multiplayer because it's it's such a lovely drive. It's one of my favourite ones to drive so far. It, it really is one of my favourite ones to drive. Right, hang on, can we? Is there a way we can? There we go. Right, we'll we'll get a nice screenshot there. Love a good screenshot. You know me. Do you know what I like as well? You have to do the hustle alarm. So like obviously normally when you close doors. They'll just, you know, you'll get the hustle alarm, but not on this. Right, we're ready for departure. Before closing the doors, use there we go. Buzzer. That's the buzzer to say stand away. Decrease force of EP braking. Right, off we go. Wait. Closing position. The vehicle will be automatically switching. Bang it into six. Notch six. Off we go. Acknowledge the village and system, maybe. No, he's not telling me to. Right, we'll uh, we'll, we'll just crack on. There we go. There she blows. It really is quite loud. This game. That is one thing that you uh, you really do feel. I mean, I've got my headset on now, which is probably why you're wondering, Joe. Why are you shouting into your microphone? Because it really is quite loud. <laughs> it really is loud where I'm sat. So if I move the microphone a bit lower. Maybe I won't need to shout. There we go. Right, full steam ahead. So, drive through lazy uh, LA in 1.8 kilometres an hour. I don't think on the tutorial there's many uh, AI trains. I think you... Uh, whoa, look at that going over the points. A little jolt there. The sounds are just incredible. You know, you've got your... You've, every time you go over the points, there's a little jolt. There's, you know, it, it, it's just such a good train simulator. It really is. It looks fantastic. Looking at the trees, the motion blurs just nice. It, it really is good. I mean, I've never been on one of these, so maybe the sounds aren't good, but everything else has been absolutely spot on so far with this game. I can't fault it. There we go. Acknowledge Villagence. I don't know what the top speed of these is. I've just got it in sixth uh, throttle six position. I mean, I was assuming it was a hundred. That 
see at the horn there. Brilliant. Next station is Lazy. Lazy in 3.8 kilometers. We're going to keep. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, we'll just ease off the throttle a little bit because we are speeding. Right, there's a yellow signal coming up according to our little uh, little hood in the right-hand corner there. Oh, another little jolt over the points there. Yeah, I really hope that they're going to bring more routes to this. I think like this EM57 on like a, a stopping type service, that would be absolutely awesome. Really, really good. Oh, it's a flashing single yellow. No idea what that means. Does that mean my next signal's red, I wonder? No. There we go. Right, so move the drive handle to the zero position. We can't actually hear what he's saying anymore. Right, we need to slow down to 40 kilometres an hour. So we'll, uh, there we go, we'll uh, have a bit of that. So we've got half a kilometre to get down to 40. I reckon we can do that easy peasy. It's same to decrease the force of the EP braking, but I don't think we need to do that. I think we need to... There we go, maybe 20... I think that's pretty perfect, uh, if you, you know. There we go. Lovely, look at that. Oh, you... A little bit good at this uh, Polish train driving malarkey. Yeah, get Simrail on your, uh, on your wish list, kids. On your Santa's list. This is absolutely awesome. I mean, every time I've played this game, I've said it's awesome. <laughs> I've said it's absolutely brilliant. And do you know what? I'm, I'm not lying. It is. does seem a little bit premature to have us down at 40 kilometres an hour all the way out here. Maybe it's because of the signals we're, uh, we're travelling on there. There's two little symbols of cars, so uh, I imagine that means we're coming up to a level crossing. And we've got some points in the top left for, uh, for sounding our horn at exactly the right moment. If you, uh, if you look at the EM57 uh, trains online, you'll notice some of them have actually... I mean, these were what? Were they built in the 60s, 70s and 80s? I think they were built... Or was it the was it the 70s and 80s? I can't remember off the top of my head, but they are really, really old. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that they're old. Oh, yeah, when you, when you exit to look outside, he tells you it's time to get in the train again. But, um, yeah, you don't need me to tell you that they're old. They look flipping old, don't they, these things? There we go, break back down. You know, they do look flipping old, but uh, but yeah, they've, they've actually put new cabs in them. They've put new cabs, they've facelifted the outside, they've more or less rebuilt them to give them more, you know, a new lease of life. No, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely fantastic. You know, over here, we don't do that. You know, there's there's 21 year old Voyagers, and we're, uh, you know, we're on about getting rid of them. Trains coming off our network that really shouldn't be coming off our network in the UK, whereas in ab abroad, like in Poland, they just rebuild them. Really, really is good. Open the doors using the switch. Fantastic. Right, 15 seconds. People getting on. Couple. Lovely. And also, these do come in different liveries. It's not just this livery. I do like this livery, though. Door shut. <laughs> I have done love. Need to catch up. I'm going to bang it into full. Oh, he tells you the same thing every time, doesn't he? There we go, right, there we go, ease off. 
the flange sounds happen at exactly the right time. Everything is just awesome. Not that Lego movie. Still 40. Oh, don't tell me it's 100. Oh, there we go. Right. Bang it up. Full power. 110 kilometres an hour. Off we go. Nothing's happening. Right, hang on. There we go. Right, we'll just ease it up. That's much better. Right. Come on, full steam ahead. Oh, the current's building now. There we go. I like how that on there, like, sort of ticks up. You know, it's not a smooth... It's not a smooth... Oh, diligence system. We do things like open the windows, maybe? No. Okay, we... Oh, we can! Oh, lovely! Can open the window, you know, if it's getting a bit hot in here. This game's so good. It really is. What's this thing? SHP. I'm not going to pull it because it looks looks like it might bring us to a stop. Can we can we go in here? Can we? Oh, we can't change the destinations. It is time oh, because it's electronic. Use the key or press the train door, but remember to close them after. The it's not time to enter the vehicle at all. We're already in the vehicle. We're driving. I love the ticking in the background as you're driving along. The uh, the old locos do it as well. They've got a very similar front end, haven't they? Right, so just over a kilometre until our next station. Vizioka. There we go. Move it to 40%. That should do the trick. We'll take it off to 25%. That'll do. are approaching the station. I know I'm approaching the station. It's half a kilometre away still. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll increase it a bit more because uh, the game is starting to panic, I think, that we're not stopping at the station. Everything's fine. don't need to, sir. I'm stopping where I should be stopping. You can stop. Increase force of EP braking. There we go. I think we're going to go right to the end. Look at that. And before we stop, flick the doors open, because I reckon... Oh no, lost 10 points driving with open doors. I reckon that these perhaps would would stop, you know what I mean? I, I thought that they'd sort of flick the doors open at 2 mile an hour, 2 kilometres an hour... You know, just to speed up the uh, the boarding and the lighting process. Close the doors using the switch. Decrease force of ED break. Off we go. Where are we going next? Crush... Crush abroad. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, and then through Dabrawa Gonitsha. Gonitsha. Lovely. Well, we've been there before. I'm sure we've done some signal in there. wasn't the right moment. I thought that that was like the uh, the time. Oh, it's there. There we go. 50 points. Right, next stop, Krushobrod. 
That's what I'm going with it being. He don't half like to tell you how to drive your train, does he? Decrease force. No, no, because we're coming to a stop, sir. We need to increase the force, if anything. There we go. Brilliant. We're June at 15.30. It is now... I can't see the time. Increase force of EP braking. Acknowledge the village and system. Lovely. Open the doors using the switch. Where's the time now? Where does it say? 15.30. Is it bang on 15.30? Off we go. Decrease force of EP braking. To drive, move the drive. We know we've done it before. Give them a little toot at the level crossing there. Tell them we're coming. Next stop, Dabrawa Gonicha Sikoka. Lovely. Do you reckon PH stands for passenger halt? I'm not sure. Crush abroad. Acknowledge the village and system. Lovely. Back up to full speed. 110. Come on, let's get to 110. Not a lot of trains going the other way, sadly. I think this tutorial would be a little bit better if. Uh, would be marginally better if there were other trains on the line, but besides that. I like it. I really do like this game. The train's gorgeous to drive. I think this is my new favourite train. I did enjoy driving the uh, the noodles, the, um, the the whatchamacallit, the, the Intercity Express Pendolino doodars. Uh, they were a nice drive, but I definitely think this takes, uh, takes a top whack. It sort of reminds me, looking at the driving cabin, of those um, Berlin U-Bahns. Uh, the F, F stock Berlin U-Bahn. I imagine the cab on those to be very similar. Go a bit of braking. All right, so it's 15:32. We're actually due into here at 15:33. Wow. We're uh, oh, a lot of car going along the side. You are approaching the station. Yeah, I am aware. I'm just trying to leave my braking until you know as late as possible, so that we are arriving on time. Although now I'm a little bit worried we're not going to stop at all. Decrease? You've just told me to increase it. Increase force of EP braking. No, I'm not doing what you say. This is a perfect Increase stop. Force of EP braking. Open the doors using. The Lovely. Look at that. Bang on 33 that we've arrived. Who says that Polish railways don't run bang to time? Because they do. Look at that. Zabkovici. Three, two. Doors are shutting. Before closing the doors, use the buzzer. Decrease force of EP. We'll give them a. Uh, to drive. Give them a two because we're going over the level crossing. Position. The vehicle. I realise I'm tapping my keyboard really hard. I, I just feel like this is sort of how, if I was sat in the, you know, I, I, if I was flicking switches and that, I'd just be sort of bang, 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 you know, sat in here. I don't think they'd be soft with it. I think they'd just sort of be sat here bashing everything and sort of flinging, flinging levers into position, you know, just, just, might not be the case at all. It's just how I imagine it to be.
Right, so yeah, that'll do. What time do we stop here then? Um, 35, right, what time are we on now? 34? Good lord, they don't give you long at all, do they? You can tell this is a, a, a sort of local train. Not like the intercity with loads of time at each station. Oh, hang on. Ignore me. That says drive through at the top. Good lord. We're going to be late now, aren't we? DZA. Drive through at 15.35. Driving through a checkpoint on time. Well, that's good. Yeah, next stop, Dabrawa Gonicza Zapkovici. In uh, one kilometre. So, right, let's have a look. We'll, we'll carry on flying up here. I reckon that, because this is, you know, we're stopping less than a kilometre, well, just over a kilometre. There we go. I reckon that this 100 kilometres shortly after it will go down to 40. We're just going to uh, ease it down to 80. Because obviously we're coming up to a yellow signal. In fact, no, we're coming up to the station, aren't we? So we'll just, you know, just, just take it nice and steady. Oh, yeah, we've controlled this, uh, this station before, haven't we? Right, the stairs are there, so we'll try and stop by the end of the canopy. And that way the whole train will be in line with the stairs. There we go, we'll just ease that off for a nice, uh, nice gentle stop. Lovely. Come on, stop. There we go. And that is that. Right, well, thank you so, so much for watching. I didn't realise that that was where we finished. Um, I thought we were driving it to Katowice, but never mind. Let me know in the comments what you think to that. That was absolutely fantastic. We've gained loads of experience. And EM57, gorgeous train to drive. Free update as well, people. That's why I can't recommend uh, this game enough. It's absolutely incredible uh, and a game that I thoroughly enjoy. And hey, I knew nothing about Polish railways before playing this. And now I'm a master of the EM57. So even if you think, oh, I don't really like Polish railways, don't know much about them. Get it. it honestly, best game. Best, uh, best train simulator. Uh, well, modern day train simulator anyway. I think I'm still a train sim classic kind of guy, but if you like European railways, this does it even better than train sim classic. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, let me know what you think, as I say. If you've enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more sim rail or train simulators in general, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any, uh, any future content. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.